Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Complex. We're here once again at CES checking out Dream. That's right, the same company that we previously reviewed, including the X40 Ultra, one of my personal favorite robotic vacuums. Today we see exactly what they have to offer at CES, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I have you here, can you tell us a little bit more about what we got going on over here in front of us? Of course, as you can see, this is our cool. window cleaner robot. And it is sticking to the windows because it has a fan at the center of this product, you see here? Right here? I yeah, and this fan can pick up the suction and make it vacuum. And it's at maximum, it can provide a uh, suction power of 5,500 pascal. So oh, it's wow. really strong and it's really safe. And you can see here's the mope. You can wet the mope so that the stains on the window can be softened and easily be taken away. And here we have four corner brushes, which can clean the edge and as well as the corner really well. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we also have a water tank. You can see here. Okay, so there's a water tank, in fact, in the yeah, back. Yeah, and also here, two nozzles at the right side and two nozzles on its left side. Oh. Whenever so you fill the water tank, it will spray water automatically. And whenever you fill the water tank, it can work for an hour without adding extra water. Okay, so what's this unit over here? I see this. Ah, here is our station. Okay. Inside the station, it carries a battery which can last for three hours without plugging in the sockets. Oh, and wow. It also serves as a safety backup for the robot. It has over 10 methods to ensure it works very, very safely on its window. Oh, nice. Great way to go ahead and clean your windows. And the fact that it's portable, so you can technically put it just about anywhere. Yeah. So as you know, robot vacuums is a big niche for our particular channel. And Dream is actually one of my particular favorites. So I have Sue here showing us something look, a little bit out of this world. This is so cool. What is this? It's our new technology. You can see it's our multi-mop replacement dock. Oh. You can oh. see three pairs <laughs> of mops and they are designed for different cleaning scenarios. Because oh. you don't want your robot vacuum go into the bathroom and then go back to your bedroom. That makes so sense. So we make this. I like that. Uh, just because of the fact that the robot ma the mops always do get dirty and it's always yes. like sharing and spreading it throughout different rooms. Yes, we, this, this can avoid cross contamination. Yeah. All right, so as you know, they got the X40 Ultra here, my own personal robot vacuum. And I have to say it's one of my favorites. But Dream recently announced something that I have to say is probably next level. Let's take a look. Come on. This here is a robotic arm attached to a robot vacuum. Now, obviously, this is something that I would have never even thought of happening to begin with. But now I can actually go ahead and pick up stuff for you and put it away. Let's take a closer look. So I got Dennis here. Dennis, tell us about this awesome looking robot vacuum. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, no problem. So the first is the name. The name of the robot is, uh, the robot vacuum is uh, called a Bionic uh, Multi-Joint uh, Robotic Arms. The technology is called that name. Nice. And, and then, uh, for this one, the, we have two purposes to invent in this uh, uh, arm here. Uh, the first one is we want the, the robot can pick up different cleaning tools to okay. deal with the different things. So uh, when the robot see there is a, there is a place uh, there's a player have too much dust on it, yeah. and he'll choose to uh, grab a, a, a oh, the sponge, the okay. sponge so brush, the sponge right there, the sponge brush, and to put all the dust out, and then for the vacuum, uh, vacuum cleaner to clean it. Okay. For example, here here is the narrow space, yes, and he'll choose to use the the sponge brush okay. to get all the dust out and vacuum it. Ah, and so you can actually go ahead and swap out arms too? Yes, of course. Yeah. Then go ahead and see the there is a QR code here. Yeah, I see that. The, and we also got a camera ah. on, the, on the arm, so the arm can see uh, which brush brush I'm going to choose. Okay. Yeah. So when the robot see there is a dry things, so for example, the catcher dry dry out on the floor, and it's very hard for yes. the normal mop has to do it, and he will choose to use the the hard fur brush. So actually, you can scrub it. Yeah, go <laughs> scrub it first, and then use the vacuum and mop pad to wipe it out. Now, is this a prototype, or is this will actually be a production model? Yeah, this one will be release uh, oh this wow year. really yeah, yeah. This, this will be oh, i'm uh, excited to review this that's yes. a fact yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's very good and then there's another purpose for for using the this arm is that um when there is a, a sneaker in in the middle of the road yes and uh, our robot will pick this up 
and then clean the space yeah. uh, underneath the underneath the sneaker. Oh, and put it back down. Yeah, and put it back down. <laughs> so and then and then you can set an area. For example, the front door area, yeah, a front door zone, and you can ask the robot to put all the sneakers in the front doors. So yeah. it can organize your floor for you. Ah, uh, so and cool. And put all the napkin to the trash box and uh, put uh, every toys in your children's room. Now that sounds like a lot to ask, but is that in fact actually possible with this kind of robot? It can actually do that? Yes, it already really what? realized. That's this incredible. One. I'm yeah. excited to see that. Look at that. There you go. The arm's coming out now. Yeah. Ah. And for this one, can grab a, a, a object a heavy about a 500 grams. Okay, so 500 uh, grams. It's about men's sneakers. It's very heavy. That's so cool. I love the fact that you guys are combining like robotic arms with robot vacuums. Uh, eventually in the future, it can like maybe bring you like a can of soda or something. Oh, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> four degrees of freedom or? Yes, four degrees of okay, freedom. Okay, okay. Oh, look at that. It actually looks like he's trying to grab something. That's so cool. Huh. All right, so we got a lot of different demonstration purposes going on here. Check this out. Kind of showcasing how it goes over different ledges. That is cool. All right, so I have Ada here showing us uh, something a little bit different. Can you tell us more about it? Yes, right now the one that is moving is the Z1 Pro. This, so right now the moving one is the Z1 Pro that you can see it is moving horizontally to clean the water line by adjusting the suction power on these two water jets. And this Z1 Pro carries a very cool, cool sense module that carries like ultrasonic yeah. and line laser and dot laser that come in combination of these module um, the Z1 Pro can have the 3D environment sense in this pool all you need to do is to turn it on and select a mode uh, and then put in the water and this machine will clean the whole pool for you oh, wow. including the base the wall and the water line it is pretty cool. And also it carries the biggest suction power in the industry, which is 8,000 gallon per hour. Oh, okay. Yeah. And also um, this product can uh, avoid the obstacles in the water, just like the main drain and the lights. So it will avoid run over and ruin it. Oh, okay. So yeah, very simple to use. Just kind of put it in your pool and let it do its thing, right? Yes, it's very free. And also when, you are out you can ask it to clean the water for you and okay. when you get home uh, sometimes it will leave in the base so you can use this life i control thing to oh, nice. ask it to just like a remote yeah. car so you can ask it to go forward backward left and right and also so if you see anything more particular you can make it go there and clean yeah, it yes yeah. you can do a spot clean oh nice okay and also you can ask it to climb up to the wall for you to retrieve yeah and then recharge it and clean the basket that's so awesome. Easy to use. Awesome. Yeah, I like the, this off. is very innovative. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So you can actually go ahead and move it about too yeah. and tell it where you want to go. You need to point it at two. Yeah, you oh, see the see, yeah, see, light. The, see that right there? Yes. That's cool. You can cool. use that light to point it to the machine and ask it to, to let me show you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. i just going to ask it to uh, pause this waterline cleaning mode and then it will climb down. Oh, look at that. And then you can ask it to to turn. That's Go very backwards. responsive. Yes. Go backwards and turn right. As you can see, when I use this life I control thing yeah. to to point at it, it will turn to purple. So you can try it ah, out again. So it tells you. Okay. Yes, it tells you that I hear you yeah. and I will listen to you and do whatever you ask me to do. All right. So what's going on here? This is the dreamy wet dry vacuum cleaner. Here. Okay. Yeah. We have a little demonstration. Is that correct? Yes. We got hair. So this product and... is only uh, is you basically used for wet and dry messes on okay. floors like this yeah. one. And uh, you can see that this is our latest uh, new product in 2025. Okay. And you can see here there's a special scraper here. Yeah, I see the that. AI, AI robotic lift arm so that you. When you pull it back and you will oh, go down yeah, on the floor, it moves. the mop yeah moves. Uh, it's just the scrape scrubbing the floor. Yeah. So basically, this the wet dry vacuum is the uh, we have two water tanks here. Right. The, the clean water tank and the dirt water tank. So okay. it's always clean with fresh water. Yeah, I see and, it. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Let's try it. Demonstrate it. Oh. 
This is the sticky mess is cute. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, they actually cleaned it really good. So now that it's cleaned it, where does it all go? <laughs> it goes to the dirt water tank. Okay. Yes. So uh, you can see that uh, with the scraper, uh, there's very little water streaks. I like the scraper idea. That's yeah, really yeah, smart. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Very little water streaks on the floor. Okay. And then how does it uh, clean itself? Is there a cleaning? Yeah, it's a self-cleaning. Okay. Here. Check here. So you have a, a base like that. Okay. There's a charge station here. Okay. And after you mop in the floor, just put it back on the charge station. Mm. It will start self cleaning. And it's very high temperature. It's high temperature self cleaning and self drying. It only takes five minutes to get it completely dry. Okay. And the, you can see that the roller here uh, in the self cleaning processing, you will high speed the rotation of the roller. Right. And the scraper will remove the dirt on the brush. And it uses like heated water to yes, yes, heated water. to kill any bacteria. Okay. 100 Celsius degree. Oh, there you go. I see that. Okay, okay. Yes. All right. Well, there you guys have it. Overall, a really cool design. Thank you once again to Dream for inviting us out. Really cool products. I'm particularly a big fan of the robotic vacuum with the robotic arm. Excited to go ahead and review that at my actual studio. So with that said, if you had any questions, comments down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care now. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>